slowing down at all? Is, sorry? Is he showing any signs of slowing down? He's 34 now. Well, I, I don't have any doubts about Kyle, about his physicality, he can play wherever. Kyle is, is be focused on what he has to do. You know, I'm happy he's back in the national team and this milestone is unbelievable and I think that his win rate is not spectacular, it's superior. So that's why I congratulate him because that means how consistent, how many games you have to play, how few injuries, because your physicality is out of the normal. But uh, yeah, Kyle has to be completely, completely focused, you know, uh, to, to get the best, the best of him. You mentioned there he's back in the England squad. Did he did he take a bit of time to to get up to speed? Maybe this year, up to up to his form, his best form. No, he has to play. The best form is play, but he has to, you know, to the in every training session and the games and the minutes he play. But so all the teams, all the teams, it's competitions. You know that. I see many times to the players. So there are many players that have been here seven, eight years, all together, and the men to play. But the men, what they have done in the past, you know. Because I won the Premier Leagues, I won here for all the players, for the senior ones. I'm not talking about Savinho's the first year he's here. <clears throat> you know, for many years. It, that that is part of history. That doesn't count. You have to, you know, perform well right now, today, tomorrow at 3 p.m. This is the only count in a modern sport and modern football. Hi, Pat. Um, just on Kevin and, and Belgium, Tedesco has been talking this morning and saying. He's asked to skip November because he wants to look after his body. Um, do you think that is a sort of decision that comes with age and experience? Like he probably wouldn't have been able to make that call nine years ago. He knows his body. Every player knows it, but especially in that age, and especially after tough surgery, it will be the same as like Rodri. So yeah. I know from my experience that when you have these long injuries, after that you have to be careful. And and what, what the problem we have, Kevin, is just the consequences for the last surgery. The last season was five months out. And when this happened, is you, you when you have this this these surgeries, your body became unbalanced. Something is right, left. It's, it's something. Is that's why you have to work out of the pitch a lot to make your your body as balanced as possible. And you cannot play every three days because. After one year, it will be perfect, you know? But it's, it's what it is, so we have to understand it. That's the reason why uh, he, he decides for himself, of course, for, for, for Tedesco, that decide what is the best for, for him, because the best for him is the best for the national team. What is his actual problem at the moment? What's the injury? Uh, I don't know in English. Pubis? Pubalgis? He did this last time. You know, I, I don't know. It's something here. <laughs> In a, you know, the balance the, the upper body for the lower body, you know, and it's not that we say big issue, but still doesn't feel good. And can I just ask, when someone's out that long after after a surgery, and particularly at Kevin's age, how do you go about managing those sort of niggles and fitness issues that you might? Well, have? I would like to to be be told uh, today I'm tired, today I'm not be ready. It's better, less minutes, but the players don't say that. I would love, I want to play every single game, and that's nice, that's fine, but some moments, some moments the body said, warnings, I'm here. So we have to, because they are humans, and there's a lot of games, a lot of years, and many years injured, and long ones, and, and the consequences are here. So the same car when go to the, you know, to be to play for something, it's not the same car. So there's something is a little bit worse. It's not the same when you're going to buy a car. So and it's normal. It's a lot of years there, and uh, and that is part of the decisions you have to take when you you know think about the selections a bit about the you know the future, the teams, the squad. This have to. It's not about the talent of the players. Is there? Is there is really really good all of them? But there are players that they have age and it happened. It's normal. Hi, Pep. We talked a little bit about the captaincy last week, and obviously there's six now, and I'm pretty sure there's other players in the dressing room who are strong personalities as well. How useful is it for a manager to have a dressing room where you've got so many senior, experienced players like that who can sort out problems for themselves? It's better, much better. It's better. They have to. 
absolutely, absolutely. I'm a, it's like that. It's modern football, I think, in life is not all the time the manager will say they have to do it. There are many subjects, many issues, many things happen there. They have to solve it. They don't even knock my door in my office. So, when it's a big problem, of course I'm there. I will intervene, but the rest they have to. How much do you speak to them now? And has it decreased since you arrived? Do you speak to them less now than you did at the start? Yeah, much less, yeah. We know each other quite well. They know there are issues that is not necessary. So what do you talk to them about now? Just tactics for them last match, next match? Yeah, That's mainly. It's why I'm here. <laughs> mainly that's the reason why. When there is something I smell or some people said to me, oh, it's happened this. Okay, I reflect, I say, okay, their business. I say, oh, oh, I don't like that. Let's go. Let's talk. So, it's simple. Just in terms of your future, I know you said you didn't want to give an answer in terms of what you're actually going to do, but in the past you've talked about the smell of how things feel if the players are hungry and fresh. In that sense, do you have a good feeling about this season? They love me so much. Honestly. I'm sure. They adore me. Well, don't laugh. It's true. Hi, Pat. Yeah. Obviously, after the injury to Rodri, and it could be any big player, you know, senior player in the club, it might be natural for some of the team to worry that similar things could happen to them. Have you seen any sort of nature of players holding back, fearful of injury since in the in the games afterwards? And have you had to talk to anyone and say, you know, don't be worried about? Injuries like Rodri's. Talk to them if they are concerned about the injury of Rodri. About it could happen to them. It could, no, don't think about that. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen. Going to happen. You've not seen any players maybe holding back or anything? No, physical? no. Just flu, go. Don't, don't stress. So you never know what's going to happen. So just to prepare better your body. Of course, you are not well prepared. Of course, you are more risky, but they are well prepared mentally and everything, so it's not a problem. So it's not affected the, the players mentally, you don't think? No, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. They want to play, they want to do the best, and when they are there. We feel sorry for Oscar, for Rodri, for all the injuries we had in the past. All the clubs, they have a long injury, so the demanding of this sport every day is tougher and faster and quicker, stronger, and it's, it's the contacts and everything, the weather conditions, the less recovery, and the risk is there, we know that. But we don't have to think about it, otherwise, as much you think, as much you're concerned about that, more risk is going to happen. So just flow and try to do your best, and that's all. Pep, you obviously look at your squad and the fitness and try and manage people for the season. Do you have to do that now? Is it a normal season like that? Or do you have to think about the FIFA tournament as well in that? It's quite similar from the previous seasons, I would say. The only difference was the World Cup season in Qatar. Like, was mm. anyone knows what really, really would happen. But the rest is the only problem, I would say, would be the next season. In the beginning, that would be, I don't know what is going to happen. but. The season, as much you go through in the competitions, the Fair Cup, Champions League and so on, you have two more games, I would say, in Champions League. But two more games is not much, much different, I would say. The big difference is when you finish the season and you go to the holidays, you have to go to States, you know, to play the World Cup. That is the moment going to affect the rest. Is, I would say it's quite similar to the previous season. So when, uh, when you get to that stage of the season to get to America, you, you said you could pick, players could be physically or no. personal, whatever. Could you see... Right now? See, no, could you see at that stage uh, players being exhausted by the season? Yeah, it's going to happen. And, and then not... Well, it depends. It depends if you are in the last stages of FA Cup, last stages from... So I don't know. What I'm going to say, I don't know if this season, at the end of the season, before the States, the World Cup, we're going to play more games than the travel year. Like we won the travel and won't play all the games of the season. Maybe we'll play less games, you know? But at the end, we'll be at this part, this month, these three weeks. And after the holidays, like Premier League not allowed us to postpone Chelsea, I think, but all the teams will go to the to the World Cup, postpone the first two games to come and recovery. Thank you so much. So, like, they don't postpone this game. So that will be, the moment will be, oh, 
what do you have to do? Because I don't have an answer right now because I've not been there before. I don't know. So I think we are going to to take a decision. I would say with the common sense, you know. So the common sense. So we're going to see the players. We're going to see how is the schedule, whatever. And after we're going to decide. Have you asked for a delay to your? Did you say you and Chelsea they won't let you delay a, a delay a game next season? The first one, the first game. I think the club asked for the Premier League. The first or second game, the Premier League postponed it one or two, three weeks yeah. in the middle week to have one more week or two more weeks holidays after yeah. the World Cup. But is that not allowed? Absolutely not. No. Okay. The Premier League say yes to us? No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Just similar to Mike's question, there's a perception maybe with City that you drop points in the autumn, winter months, but you come good around March, April, May. Is that something that's on your mind now, trying to think about already how you get no, this team? Never, never, never no. think about future in March, February, what happened in the World Cup. Never, ever. So I demand for my team, for myself, in every single game, do the best. Because I don't know it's going to... No, we're going to make that plan because in February it will be perfect. Who knows that? I plan to be 12 months perfect. This is what I plan, knowing that will be up and down in moments that will be there. But this is my plan. Pre season, where we go, knowing bad, okay, do your best. And knowing that we are not best in the first games in the season or whatever, so do the best every single time. No, knowing that with this preparation, yeah, I prepare the game for tomorrow, Fulham. All my preparation is Fulham, not because I prepare because in February, March would be better than now. In February, we are 20 points behind the leader, so maybe we are 20 points in front. Who knows? So, is the game next is the best solution? In my experience, it's, it's the best way. And can I also can I also ask about Nathan Ake? We, we haven't actually asked him in a couple of weeks. Are you still expecting him back after the international break? Yeah, yeah. expect him back international after international break. Yeah, that'll be. A but big... I would say without injury, but they have to be there. Nathan is not like Phil Foden, for example, uh, or another player. I don't know. Uh, like in two training sessions, are fit. Uh, so he needs time. That'll be a big boost happening back, obviously, because... Yeah, I think will be... The info I had yesterday or the day before is uh, the stereo training on the on the beach, and, and yeah, we'll see. Last one. Joe, please go. Hi, Pat. Just back to Kevin and the fact that he's asked not to play for Belgium next month to sort of prolong his season effectively. Do you think more players will start to think about that and maybe not go on international duty because of... The, the pressures that are being put on them at club It's my advice. When they are fit, go to a national team. When you don't feel good, don't go. This is my advice. But it's my advice. It doesn't mean they have to follow me. So if they feel good, you have to represent your country. It's the most, I would say, for many players, the most important thing. But when you are not fit, recover because you will be fine here and after you will be back better to the national team. But it's what it is. That's why Kevin take I, my point of view, the smartest, the wisest decision. Yeah. Thank, okay, you, thank guys. you guys.